So some causes of trauma, there's physical, like we, I think we mentioned last time that people may show like with bruises or broken bones, something like that. There's emotional trauma, there's also sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. And so what this also presents as is that one can actually can be a victim directly or indirectly. Indirectly meaning um, if they hear about it or they're close, like a close relative has been a victim of trauma, just someone for getting that news can make them also the victim as well. So, um, for example, uh, another example could be like seeing someone get murdered or seeing someone get really abused. Just witnessing that can happen. It's especially important in like kids or people are like young. If they witness stuff in their parents, yelling, abuse, things like that, uh, fighting, that can actually affect them. Uh, later on in their life. Can you see an emotional question? Emotional, um, like name calling, like, oh, you're no good, you're this, you're that. Like, maybe it comes from, like, the parents, or maybe it comes from someone, like, a parental figure or a caregiver. Like, it could be, like, a step parent, something like that, who um, just kind of gives, the, like, you know. Put down. But yeah, a lot of frequent put down. Maybe it's bullying at school. That could be a negative form of emotional uh, trauma. Bullying at school too. Uh, maybe it could be neglect, like uh, people just not being cared for or nurtured. That could be another form. Uh, can I yeah. ask some? So, if one of the kids, for example, like which is something that I know, uh, went through um, sexually abused and, and like, trauma in their home, and then they share those things with a friend. Can that be a second-hand trauma for that friend? Because kids tend to share, share and... Yeah, that's a good... I, I think it can. It can, I huh? think so. This, this worries me, honestly. Um, so war is frequent, like, in the military people. Like, you go, they don't... Oftentimes they're young and they don't anticipate what they're getting themselves into and they see all these killings and, and stuff, so they can be uh, victims of trauma. Um, natural disasters it can be like you know, the earthquakes, tornadoes, floods, things like that. Um, affairs um, are like, especially in married couple or people in relationships, that can be a source of emotional trauma. Mm -hmm. 